Well, hello, Stamping Friends. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're having a great day. I sure am, and it's really cold here in Arizona, but I can't complain too much because I know it's negative in other states. So I think we're hovering around the 50s here. So yeah, I definitely have my warmer clothes on. <laughs> but I am anxious to share with you, and you're not gonna believe it, I am using the exact same stamp set because I cannot put this stamp set down. So I promise I will move on to some of the other things that I have in my stash here. But one more card, just because we're getting closer to uh, the cutoff for ordering for Valentine's Day to get your orders back in enough time to make Valentine's. So we're gonna use Be My Valentine again. And this time, we are also going to pull from another die set that is not new. It's in the annual catalog, but I'll share with that with you in just a little bit. So for starters, we will start with black cardstock. And this is 8.5 by 5.5. And, and I already scored it in half on the 8.5 inch side at 4 and a quarter. And I'm loving my new glass mat. Remember, this can be yours free if you sign up to join uh, to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, which means you do not have to do classes and everything like I do. You can just be a discount shopper and enjoy the perks. And also, I would love to have you join my team. All right, the next thing we're going to do is I borrowed a cute little die. I already cut it out, but I'm going to show it to you. This is actually from the Gone Fishing set. Isn't this cool? It's actually part of a tackle box if you look at it in the annual catalog. And I can share that with you and show you what the whole die set looks like. This stamp set is actually on page 79 and look at all the cool stamps you get but look at this die set. Can you see that? Lots of goodies in there but the one I'm after is that frame. You really can show off designer series paper with this. So the way we're going to make this is we are going to at first adhere this. So I want this to really pop so I'm actually going to use my foam adhesive strips grab my scissors here and I'm going to carefully place these so that you won't see them when we flip it over. So I'll put them on the tabs that are a little bit larger here. And this die can really be used with anything that you're showcasing. It all changes when you choose different papers and colors but it's just a, like I said a really good way to show off all the designer series papers and also how they coordinate. You don't have to sit and look through all your stash and trying to, you know, mix and match and make them look good because all of the papers usually coordinate pretty well. And I'm just going to add a few more in here so that everything pops up and not just those sides. Um, hopefully we can't see those when we're done. Let me put one more here right in the middle. And you can see when you go where there's a seam or a cross like that, you get a little bit more room in there. All right, now we are going to attach this to our card front like this. And we are going to do tone on tone. And I tried many different color combinations with this. And I ended up with black because it really, really offsets the paper well. We are going to start with the bottom left corner. And this is where our Valentine's Day wish is going to go. So we'll just center this on there. I'm using black to kind of play up the black that's in the card and the little divider. All right, we are gonna use multi-purpose liquid glue when we adhere this because sometimes you have to kind of make it fit a little bit better and move it around. So we're just gonna go right smack in the middle of these and they should fit perfectly because they were die cut from the same die. The next one we're gonna do is the one that has like the little buzz marks, I call them, their little flight path. That one's gonna go here. And the next one is this one. And all I did was cut a little scrap piece off and then I cut these one at a time with that die. And it's really simple to do. What I could do if I wanted to make a bunch of them is just cut out one full of each designer series paper and I could make one, two, three, four, five cards and just mix and match all the patterns. So that's an easy, easy way to make five cards that show off this paper this one and I was going to add, add one more sentiment to this but I decided to just kind of let the DSP speak for itself and I'm not going to add more sentiments on here because I don't want it to get too busy we have enough patterns going already all right the last thing we're missing here is the little bee that pulls it all together and I'm going to show you an e even faster way to make this bee so I'm still using my 
little um, Stamparatus here that we don't have anymore. I'm so sorry I keep using it, but there are some other products out there if you would like one. But most diehard stampers that have been stamping for a while already probably have this. So I just want to make sure that it hits the um, center of the paper. And then we are going to ink this up. And the nice thing about this, i move that so the tab doesn't get in the way, is that if it's not dark enough, you can always have a second try. And I'm going to do that one more time. It's just a little bit um, dark in there, or light in there. There's some holes I can see, but you might not be able to see that on camera. All right. And then let me take this out. And I think the hardest part of this is punching it out, trying to get it lined up because a lot of times you have to trim these little corners because it won't go in the punch because of those. So if I would have thought about it, I could have kind of placed it. And make sure the ink is off your hands or it gets on your cardstock. <laughs> All right, let's just line this up as best that we can. Yeah, we don't have to work with that little circle that we stamped last time because there is a yellow circle you can stamp as well. But I'm just going to do one less step to make it easier and just punch that out. And then we're going to put a cute little face on him as well. We'll do the, we'll make him with a really cute smile and with his eyes kind of shut because he's smiling so much. All right. Now the last thing that we're going to do whenever I do the bee, I always make his wings more um, shimmery with some Wink of Stella. So let's just add some of that behind there. And if you, you can tell if you got it all on by just moving it around in the light. And I feel like I got a little bit of black on there too. All right, now we are ready to put this on our card front. And let me grab a... I'm not sure if that's dry yet, so I'm going to keep holding that. We'll just put one in the middle back here, and we'll carefully place this. Uh, now, this is the fun part. Where do we want to put them? Like on the paper, up here? I think we're going to put them kind of in the middle here, like that. There we go. And then one more thing I wanted to add were these cute little embellishments. And because it is a Valentine's card, I think we'll add some hearts here. Well, we could put some flowers too, I guess. Um, I feel like this little guy needs some sprucing up. So I think we will take, and I like to use the spatula end of my take your pick tool when I pick up these larger things. Um, let's do a heart here. And maybe a couple down here. We'll bring in some of the blues. There's a pool party that goes with this. And... Let's put a couple flowers maybe. Hmm, maybe some flowers on here too. Uh, that one's not gonna show up. Red on red does not show up. You can tell I'm kind of winging it as we go. White will work. And then we'll do a small pink one too. Well, There we go. And I think one more. I need a heart by the Valentine's Day one. Let's go red. And we'll put this one down here. There we go. All right, there's our finished card. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this card and you guys have a great rest of your week. Now, remember, I do my videos on Tuesday mornings at nine o'clock Arizona time. And if you use my host code, which I forgot to put on this video, um, let me quick write it down for you. And I want to show you how you can write on our glass mat. So the host code is, let me copy it quick, H Z V G V R, whoops, yep, R C R. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is this month's host code. And if you order at least $50 and use the host code, I will send you a free gift from Stampin' Up! It's product and a thank you card. And also, if your order is over $50, you can pick out anything. Well, not anything. Some things are, you have to spend $100, but most of them, it's just $50. And you can pick it from our awesome celebration catalog. I'll quickly go through this. Um, they have the watermelon set. I have that coming and this paper. I, a lot of these I still have coming. This paper seems to be the most popular one that people are choosing from my group. Um, a baby one. Um, here's some more designer series paper. Here's some nice Valentine colors. This would be cute with this design. And then of course the tool one that has um, a lot of tools. And this stamp set is kind of it's called Heartfelt Hello, so that's really pretty. And then this one's been popular too, and it's because it comes with um, the stamp set is a $50 purchase, and it's free. And then um, if you get $100, you can get the dies. So that's really a good value. And then this is another $100 value one. So you can peek at that. And then they have the specials. If you join, you can either get this glass mat that I told you about, or if you already have one or don't really have an interest in that, you can instead choose... $30 more in your starter kit. So for only $99, you can choose $155 worth of products. So that's a great deal as well. So I hope you consider that. I would love to have you join my team. And if you have any questions, please give me a call. Well, thank you again for joining me and we will see you next week. Bye-bye everyone. <music>